Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Wonderbook Book of Spells. Moving on to the Conundrum chapter now. So let's open the book. And we're just going to go over all of these poems again. This chapter holds all the Conundrum poems you've unlocked. And here's the first poem you won. Once you've completely finished the book, come back here to find a final poem with all the answers. So let's just go through. It's chapter two. Here's the chapter three poem. What wizarding... Remember poor Morgan? What wizarding quality was he missing? Remember Quintus? What wizarding quality was he lacking, do you think? You've completed your last test, so that means you've unlocked Miranda's final poem. Remember all the foolish witches and wizards we've heard about? Time to find out if you've got the qualities they lacked. That's right. So let's take a look at this. So, did you guess, my faithful friend, who's worked so hard from start to end? What would have saved the dreadful five whose stories you have heard described? Yes, practice. Every single day will pave the gifted wizard's way to greater skill. But Izzy Rose was lazy, as her failure shows. Now, wit and concentration are essential if you would go far. Naught but distraction rots your brain, as seen by Douglas in the drain. No greatness comes without hard work which Angus didn't like, the Burke, and Patience too, which will not quit as Angus did, the silly git. Huh? When faced be with using monsters, that word. fanged or furred, no, cunning's not a dirty word. If you'd avoid poor Morgan's end, then shrewdness is your truest friend. Above all, Bravery in danger, sorely lacked by Quintus Stranger, will lift you high in our esteem. We all want daring on our team. Each habit, trait, and quality, which I've described so pithily, is quite essential if you wish to be the best you can. Now swish and flick and wave. Pronounce the spell and make your magic work so well that onlookers will rub their eyes. Our admiration is your prize. Ta-da! There, you've come on so much. There's greatness in your future, I've no doubt. Keep practicing your charms, try not to flourish your wand quite so much, and come back to visit. Oh, and I almost forgot. Just close your book for me one last time, will you? There. Your book of spells is complete. Nice. But if you ask me, this is just the start of your magical education. Come back and sharpen your wand skills any time you like. I'll be here. Looks rather nice, actually, all shiny and gold. Okay, so let's look at the collectibles then. On this page, you can inspect your wand, learn about your house, and find out a bit about our author. Turn the pages of this chapter to have a look at all the collectibles you found so far. I was born into a poor family, the last of nine sisters. When I was a youngster, there was no basic spell book to give a beginner witch like myself the clear and simple instructions that would have made magic a much less mysterious process. 
I struggle to understand the complicated instructions in the old-fashioned textbooks I was given at school. Back at home, I was at the mercy of my older sister's mischievous attempts to give me the wrong incantation for every spell I attempted. Oh, that's not fair. Hand-me-down robes are merely embarrassing. Hand-me-down spells can be dangerous. When I grew up, I quickly realized that the help I had craved simply did not exist. And so, I created the book you are holding now. The Book of Spells. I could not be prouder that this simple school textbook is now being used in schools for magic all over the world. And has been translated into 72 languages, including gobbledygook and mumsh. I also had a few special editions printed for my dear sisters, which unfortunately contained a few misprints that led to quite a few comical mishaps. But Romilda's tale has vanished now, and we're all friends again. We've actually already... Heard the this book of spells at the beginning of the will game. enable you to perform a range of basic and not so basic spells that will enhance, protect, and enliven your life. At the end of each chapter, you will find a conundrum, a little poem with a hidden message concerning those characteristics and habits that make witches and wizards truly great. Each conundrum tells the story of a witch or wizard who did not possess the necessary traits and paid the price. Names have been changed to protect the inadequate. The solution to all the conundrums can be found when you have mastered every spell in this book. But by that time, you may not need the solution at all. Good luck. Stay safe and make good magic. Indeed. Right, okay, so I'm gonna now learn about slivering. Slytherin House takes those of ambition, cunning, and resourcefulness. Slytherin was founded by famed parcel mouth Salazar Slytherin, and its house colors are silver and green. And now, um, let's turn the page, take a look at the other things. Chapter one, collectibles. So I got 15 points there. Dragon hide gloves. Rather cool looking. I do like the look of these gloves. They look so awesome. I only got 10 points for chapter 2. Moving on to the third chapter. Potion bottle. I think I did pretty poorly on this chapter as well, if memory serves. Yes, <laughs> only five points. Ooh, that's the worst so far.
Gemstones. Fifteen points. Pretty good. Well, it's awesome because it's the full points. <laughs> so let's move on to chapter five. Sphinx. Fifteen points. And these are the credits. So, that's it. That's my Let's Play complete for Wonderbook Book of Spells. I will be doing Wonderbook Book of Potions next. So don't forget to like and subscribe and um, I'll also be doing Wonderbook, Diggs Nightcrawler and also Walking with Dinosaurs. All of those will be in the Wonderbook playlist which is linked in the video description. So they all will be in one playlist so it's easy for you guys to find them. So what did I think of this game? I thought it was very enjoyable. Um, very fun to play it wasn't really difficult there was some nice easy trophies there apparently the platinum should have popped up um because you get a platinum trophy for playing through the game you don't have to collect all the other trophies but it didn't pop up for me so i'll have to look into that and see why that is maybe i missed something or maybe i have to read watch all the credits so i probably won't let the credits roll um you know for the rest of this video i'm just going to talk a bit about the game and what i liked and what i didn't like obviously there were some issues with the augmented reality where it would um as we saw actually on part two of chapter five there was some issues where the camera wouldn't move down to where the book was so i had to lift it up so that i could start the um chapter test i think it was or something like that which was kind of weird that didn't happen at all previously in the other chapters so that was strange um press select right okay so it seemed to have lost signal then Right, sorry about that, don't know what that was. I think it's because it's getting fairly dark outside and uh, the lighting is beginning to affect the camera and the game. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed learning the spells. It's a bit annoying that um, I had the microphone issue when I first started the game, which was that um, you have to actually, to get the microphone to respond to you saying the spells, you have to go into the home menu on your console so before you load up the game go over to um, accessory settings and turn the microphone on and then it will pick up your voice saying the spells so that's something i didn't do and the reason i didn't do that is because every time you insert the disc for the game um, it does this setup process with the camera so i presumed that during that setup process it would turn the microphone on and it doesn't so basically it's my own fault for assuming, um, I shouldn't have assumed, but you know, logic dictated to me that it would turn the microphone on as well, but it doesn't. So all that will be in the video description anyway, because from episode 5 onwards was when the microphone was turned on and I had no issues with it um, recognising me saying the spells and incantations, so that's cool. The augmented reality was nice, the graphics looked nice, um, it's just a shame it's quite a short game. Um, when it first came out it was very very expensive I thought to be honest, I would never have bought it at the price they were asking when it first came out. I managed to pick up mine with the Wonderbook, so the just the game and the Wonderbook for £15 
from um, game on sale you can actually buy it from ebay for around the same price and also amazon.co.uk for the same price but you will need the eye camera and the move controller for it to work which i actually bought separately when i bought the sorcery game so um yeah so it may be quite an expensive do for you if you want to buy the game with and you also need the move controller and the playstation eye camera so other than that, do I think it's a must-have game? Well, I wouldn't say it's a must-have game. I think if you've got a bit of spare money and you're looking for um, something different to play and interactive, or especially for your sons or daughters, I think it's a very, very good game to pick up for them. I think they will thoroughly enjoy it. And um, as you can see during my playthrough, I didn't get all of the trophies. So there are a couple more that I need to get, which I will be showing you in a moment. But most of them do seem pretty easy. And as I said earlier, it is a very easy platinum as well. But it's also a good learning experience with your children, you know, so, um, there's some nice poems in it and there's some funny moments and there's some difficult moments so it can be quite challenging um, you have to be careful where you're flicking your wrist actually I noticed on some of the mini games that I had to do I wasn't actually aiming it very well I don't think or I was being too overzealous with my flicks so it wasn't really um, responding that well to me so but yeah, I do think it's a good game. I don't think it's a must-have. I just think it's something that you can pick up if you want some easy trophies and something different and if you see it cheap, really. But I enjoyed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this Let's Play in the video description. Um, if you're excited for the other Wonderbook games I'm going to be doing. And um, yeah, what chapter you enjoyed the most, basically. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my trophies and just show you guys actually what trophies I have gained so far on this game. They're going to need to sync up obviously because I've gained a few while filming so we'll just wait a brief moment. I'll have to look into why that platinum hasn't popped up. You should get that platinum without having to obtain all the other trophies so i'm not too sure why that hasn't popped up it's supposed to be just a platinum for mastering all the spells which i did and um, perhaps i didn't get it because some of the tests i didn't test uh test sorry i didn't get the full 15 house points so i'm wondering if that's why it hasn't popped up that i need to get perfect scores on every single chapter test so um, it might be worth me going back through and redoing that basically. So yeah, um, I'll have to let you know. So if I figure that out and that is the reason, I'll put it in the video description of this video so you guys know that basically. Come on trophies, we want to show the trophies for this game. 97%. So I've almost got 100% on that. Display the virtues required to master the book of spells. So you can see there that I've not obtained that platinum yet. So I'm just going to scroll down and see if I'm missing any others. I've got one more hidden trophy there. So I'll have to look that up and see what that is. But I think that should be it. It's just those two trophies that I'm missing basically. So I shall look those up and um, all these other trophies, I don't even even need to go through them. They are obtained just from playing the game. There's no particular requirements for these. It's just for playing through the game and doing everything the narrator and the book tells you to do. So you should be able to 100% complete the trophies for this game really, really easily. So as I said, I will look into why my platinum hasn't popped up and I'll also figure out what this hidden trophy is. Um, after the Defardio, Defardio trophy and before the no need for Spello tape trophy so I'll look into that and uh, yeah if it's necessary for the platinum I'll put it in the video description but otherwise that's it guys like I said thank you all very much for supporting this let's play and watching this let's play I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe and comment um, below let me know what wonder books you're excited for me to be covering next and uh, yes um, you're a wizard and I shall see you next time